Hello everybody and welcome to Skip Allen Paints and the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. Well, my class, woohoo, what's new in Corel Painter 2017 is underway and uh, we're having a lot of fun in it. It's not too late to join. You can uh, join at the Digital Art Academy, register and, and sign up for the class and I will put the link in the um, area below the video or on my blog. Uh, but I'll just show you a little something that's kind of fun. Uh, I'm going to take the Express Paint and what we've done in the class is we've altered a brush for Express Paint so that the brush now uh, recognizes flow maps as as well as as texture uh grain paper grain rather not texture paper grain and so let me show you how that works first thing i want to do is I've, I've switched to the interactive gradient tool i want to make sure that my express paint is not uh clicked or the preview's not clicked i'm going to be working on heavy dabs and i just need to find a gradient and in the class, I give out a whole bunch of gradients for you to play with. Let's just take this one called clay. And I'm going to drag it right down like that. And there you go. You've got the gradient. Now, if you know anything about Painter 2017 and the new interactive gradient tool, you know we've got the ability to change the nodes, delete, add nodes, uh, make them more transparent, change the color, all of that sort of stuff. But right now I'm not going to work with that. I'm going to show you that I have selected this paper, the coarse chipboard, and I'm going to come down here. I'm not going to select that flow map. I'm going to take this flow map, um, which is called Organic Vertical, and I'm going to leave it at 400 um, contrast because that'll give me more contrast and I think I'm going to move it over a little bit so that I get a stronger line. Now I'm going to roll that up. I'm going to come over here to express paint, make sure I'm on heavy dabs and let's see what we get. Ta -da! <laughs> okay, so now what you see is I've got express paint, but instead of it just being that uh, brush stroke that we're used to, we have uh, inter interjected a new uh, activity or a new look. We've put in this uh, organic verticals. Okay, so I'm going to accept that. And I'm going to grab another gradient with a different color to it. I uh, don't know what. Uh, some, wait, I saw one that looked like it might be kind of fun. Let's go here. This is Safari. And I'm again, I'm going to just drag this all the way down. I could go from side to side or to an angle or whatever. Now I want to go up here and take off the preview so that I don't get a preview. And I'm going to come down here and change the flow map. And Let's just leave it there. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. We'll leave it right there. And then I'm going to hit Express Paint Preview. And there you go. We've got this horizontal kind of approach going here. Now, it's covering up my previous painting. But remember, I'm working directly on pigment. So I can come up here and change the merge mode. I can change it to gradient. So now I'm getting that texture over the um, other one, uh, over the original um, gradient. And look at that, that's colorized. And we come in with reverse out. That's a shadow map. So each one of these is gonna give us a little something different. Now, if I want the, uh, shadow map to give me a little more. Maybe I'll just up the 
image. Now, when you up the when you make the the flow map image larger, you're actually looking at the whole how it goes over the whole paper. And I'm going to make it really, really black and white, although I think it is black and white. And I'm going to adjust this a little more. Yeah, I think I kind of like the way that looks. So now all I have to do is clear the express the preview and do it again. OK, and I'm going to we're in pseudo color. Let's go to multiply. And we could go to a screen overlay. Well, that's kind of pretty. <laughs> I like those colors. I'm, I'm a sucker for oranges and reds and stuff. And that's pretty neat, too. I, I like seeing this sort of texture that's happening down here. This is very different from the way um, the Express Paint works normally. It's darkened, different. So that's always kind of fun. Let's go back to light and then we'll come back down to when it went too far. Let's go to difference. And, you know, we can try the opacity and see if that makes a difference. It's not quite the same as changing the opacity on the layer. Uh, OK, so let's go to hue. Well, I like that too. Saturation, love those uh, orange and greens color, luminosity, and of course gel cover takes us back to really the same thing as default. Um, I'm going to, oh, that, that is nice. I like gel. I'm looking again one more time just to try and find what I'm looking for, or what I like. You know what, I think I'm going to stay right here. I, I just, this sort of a uh, beautiful rose with this orange at the top and these cool colors at the bottom just seem really nice to me. So I'm going to accept that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer. And this time I'm going to take another color. Uh, what do we want to take? How about Storm? And we'll put the dark colors at the bottom. Now again, I want to come up here and take off Express Paint so it doesn't do that right away. I want to change this back to default. And I want to pick another flow map. I haven't added a bunch of flow maps yet, and I really need to. Um, let's let's go back to no, yeah, let's go back to organic <laughs> or organic verticals. And I'm gonna make it smaller or bigger. Which way? Uh, let's go about like that. Maybe in a little more. OK, let's try that. All right, so I'm going to roll this back up. Pull the, I wanted the dark color at the bottom, so I'm going to pull it up like this. Of course, you know, you can always change the direction of the color by just flipping that. But I've, I've done it this way. And I'm now going to do the preview. Ta da! And there is my preview. Let's see what we've got. And I like that. We've got some more linear kind of stuff going on there. And we have some interesting colors. So I'm going to say, OK, cool. Now I can come over here and change the composite method. Luck to gel. That's uh, colorize. Reverse out, shadow map, oh, magic combine, wow. But are you seeing, I mean, I'm seeing this incredible starting point for a beautiful forest type landscape, which I think is kind of neat. Anyway, let's just run down, oh, overlay, gosh, that's pretty. I, I, you know, I'm a sucker for certain colors, and that's really nice, too. That would be fun to do. Darken, lighten, that's pretty. I love when you go back to lighten and stuff, and you see these gorgeous grays with these uh, more intense colors. I just love that. And difference, of course, is real wild. But now with difference, you can change the um, 
opacity and get something to change. Now, here's another something that's kind of interesting. I don't know exactly how far the paint goes, but you see I just moved the, the image to the right and to the left, and I went pretty far. Up and down in a, a vertical like this, you don't have as much room to move. But let's go back to something that shows a little more. Let's go to, um, let's go to overlay. All right, with overlay, you see, uh, it's not quite dark. Oh, I know it. I need to take the opacity back up. Yeah, that one's not quite enough. I want something a little more intense. We'll go there. Okay, so with this, you see, I can move this around and essentially begin to, to affect the composition of the way this uh, all fits together. And if I wanted to go far enough up and I would have this line here, all I would need to do is accept it and take a blender and start blending that in. But as you can see, I really can make changes to the way this thing plays out. Okay, so I've talked long enough in this one. It gives you some ideas of what we can do with Express Paint and I'm telling you that I will show you how to change the brush in Express Paint to be able to access things like flow maps or paper texture or textures. Um, it all depends on how you want to change the brush that uh, Express Paint uses. Okay, now don't forget, it's not too late to join the class. Come on and have some fun with us. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.